If you haven't been living under a very comfortable rock for the past year, you will have undoubtedly seen some of the not-so-much-online-anymore feud between SS Ninth Wolf and Jax films that went from 0 to 100 overnight just last week. SS Sniper Wolf, also known as Aaliyah or Leah Shalash, is a 29-year-old YouTuber from Arizona, USA, who started the channel in 2013 and has since amassed over 34 million subscribers and over a billion views. Originally starting out with gaming videos and vlogs, since 2017 she has been doing react content to TikToks, YouTube videos, and has collabed with YouTubers such as Darman. In 2019 and 2020 she won awards in the Kids' Choice Awards, and is constantly promoted by YouTube as one of their favourite creators. In a decade she has been online, she has been involved in many YouTube dramas and has made many an enemy. If you were never able to keep track of all the drama, my name is One Potato and this is a quick dive into the decades of drama and the fall of the queen of YouTube, SS Sniper Wolf. Point 1. Sniper Wolf does not like other people. Leah actually started her YouTube career in 2010 with the channel Sexy Sexy Sniper, which were often gaming videos and vlogs with more mature themes. This channel was deleted not long after the SS Sniper Wolf channel was created in 2013. While she denied being Sexy Sexy Sniper, even though it was very much obviously her, Sniper Wolf also criticised other women for doing similar content. She also had a habit of criticising those who got plastic surgery or photoshopped their photos, which was very ironic when Sniper Wolf herself was accused of doing those very things. While Leah did reveal that she was getting a septoplasty, a medical surgery, this then was argued about whether it was a septoplasty or a rhinoplasty, and she denied getting any other surgeries. While I don't think she has to confirm or reveal whether she did get any other surgeries, as it's her personal health, I do agree that you shouldn't make fun of those that do, especially if you then do it yourself. You know, it's, that just seems very obvious. Then, in one of her videos about prom dress fails, Sniper Wolf was called out for fat shaming a teenage girl. Now, while it wasn't very clear in the comments whether it was like actually specifically fat shaming or not, many viewers agreed that they could see Sniper Wolf's comments as being seen as such, and so she did get a lot of hate for that. Then in 2020, allegations arose around a 2019 video, including Sniper Wolf laughing and mocking a transgender woman, of which the clip was in question was removed from the video not long after the allegations arose. This was like the biggest thing that happened in 2020, apparently. Did, did really nothing happen in 2020 that was as big? Point two, Sniper Wolf lies a lot. Now, Sniper Wolf has a really weird thing with calling other YouTube creators and just random people out in general for, like, no reason, or she just lies. Now, during her early years as SS Sniper Wolf, Leah accused another YouTuber, Girl Gone Gamer, who had similar gaming content to Sniper Wolf. She claimed that Girl Gone Gamer had been faking the gaming footage in her Call of Duty Let's Plays. Now, this was a major contributor to the decline of the Girl Gone Gamer channel, as they had a massive, maybe not massive, but like a very well-documented feud between the two of them. Now, the thing is that Sniper Wolf has also been criticised for faking her gamer content as well. So, but her responses are that they're jealous of her skill because she can 1v1 them in Call of Duty. Yeah, wait until part four. Then again, in 2016, Sniper Wolf slandered another YouTuber, Enigma Hood, by calling him a registered sex offender, leading to him suing her for defamation. This case was unfortunately dropped in 2017 as they lived in separate states and it just wasn't doable. Then in February 2017, why, why does she keep lying around 2017? Like, you meant to have a gap, right? Anyways, in February 2017, Sniper Wolf was accused about lying to about reaching the top 500 in Overwatch without help. Now, I never saw this in 2016. But apparently Sniper Wolf claimed that she had reached the top 500 in Overwatch like players without being carried. And then another creator by the name of Silverbot... Uh, responded um, saying 
suggesting that she had enlisted support. Um, I didn't see much about that. Then in July 2017, Snowball, stop doing things in 2017, uh, Faye's censor exposed Snipewolf for lying and other controversies, specifically aimed towards putting down other women, as Snipewolf had been criticising and insulting uh, a couple of Faye's girlfriends. And so Faye's censor actually talked about how Snipewolf had messaged him, calling him cute, and talking about her relationship with her boyfriend at the time, Sausage. And yes, she was calling and hitting on another guy while she was in a relationship. Of which Snipewolf um, claimed that Faye Sensor was uh, faking these text messages. Of which once he went and retrieved the old text messages from Verizon, Snipewolf actually violently threatened to sue him. Because, like, Dan, just don't insult other people's girlfriends and then try to hit on them whilst in a relationship. But one thing is very important to notice in po both point one and point two is that Sniper Wolf has a habit of criticising others a lot, but being unable to take the criticism herself, which is a fact that plays into the more recent events very well. Common sniper wolf responses to criticism also involves calling them sexist, creeps, or that they're just jealous of her success. Point three, sniper wolf has multiple arrests. Sniper wolf has been arrested twice, once in 2013 for armed robbery and again in 2016 for a domestic dispute which caused a disturbance. Some nice little alliteration there. According to Sniper Wolf, the armed robbery arrest was due to a misunderstanding of a security guard thinking that she had shoplifted, and Sniper Wolf possibly left with an assault charge from fighting the guard that was trying to arrest her. Um, but whether that is true or whether that was just something sugar coated for her um, video is unknown. We all we have is her video and the mugshot saying armed robbery. The second arrest was apparently just due to a neighbour hearing Sniper Wolf screaming at Sausage, her ex-husband, or husband at the time, during an argument. Once again, Sniper Wolf says that the they were free to go and I don't think she got any charges from that. Point four, Sniper Wolf lies on thing and she's having a lawsuit. Recently, there has been a lawsuit against Snipewolf from her ex-husband Sausage, also known as Evan Young. In this lawsuit, Sausage mentions that he was the one that created the SS Snipewolf channel, and the early gaming footage Snipewolf used was recorded by him and she just voiced over it and pretended to play the audience. Oh my god, isn't that what Snipewolf criticised Girl Gone Gamer to do? <gasps> no! He claims allegedly that after their divorce in 2022, Leah had made business decisions about the channel, or Channel Red as the business was called, from setting up sponsors without his knowledge and creating new channels such as Sniper Wolf Espanol and SS Sniper Wolf Top Videos. He also claims that allegedly this prevents him from getting his share of the revenue, or at least makes it more difficult to get the fair share. He also claimed that allegedly Leah stole hardware from one of their shared houses, and in retaliation he locked her out of the accounts. Of course, this is all alleged, and in her response to this, Leah claims that as the face of the channel, she's allowed to make those decisions. But if you want to see all of the legal stuff, um, I didn't really understand half the legal words. Um, but if you want to see all of it, I recommend a Tozies video, which I will link. I will link both the original video and Leah's response in the description. Point five: Sniper Wolf has a large child audience. Now, as one would suspect, Sniper Wolf's videos are aimed to be much more family friendly and aimed towards kids. You know, that's why she won the award for Favourite Gamer of the Kids' Choice Awards in 2019 and 2020. Wait, Favourite Gamer? Well, yes, instead of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, or even Ninja winning those awards, SS Sniper Wolf 
someone who didn't specialize in gaming content and had the majority of her content since 2017 being React content, was a favorite gamer. Of course, this sparked outrage. Twice. They did this twice. Did they not learn? Then, nine years ago, Sniperwolf made a video back during the Omegle, or Omegle? Uh, Omegle craze of kids, more like teens, probably around 15-ish, twerking for a picture of her body. This is gross, and while I remember the Omegle videos being very unhinged in general at those times, this video had 2.3 million views and was still up in 2023. Even though the content was a thing for its time, I say a thing, that content was not okay. That, no. Omegle content was unhinged. This is worse than unhinged. And it was definitely not a thing to keep posted. No, no. Well, I mean, I'm glad it was kept posted because we could find it and then be like, hey, Sniper Wolf, this ain't good. I, of course, I will not link the video as Sniper Wolf does not hide these two boys' um, identities during her video. So, yes, their faces were seen by 2.3 million people twerking for a picture of her without a shirt on. Yeah. Massive call out much. Editor's note, this video um, was deleted a day after it exposed. Of course, instead, I will link the original Alex Elmsey video that pointed this video out. This is where it gets sad. Over Christmas time 2021, Sniper Wolf was contacted by the mother of a terminally ill 10-year-old girl named Kira, who was a big fan of Sniper Wolf's and wanted to meet her. After getting in contact with, I think it was Keemstar. After getting in contact, Sniperwolf and Kira's mum set up a video call, of which, at the time of the scheduled video call, Sniperwolf contacted saying she didn't have the time today. This was continued again, and once again, Sniperwolf told the mother that she was busy. Um, I think the second time, there were Snapchats of Sniperwolf going out to eat and taking photos of her food. So, of course, incredibly busy. Obviously. This ended to the mother being very angry at Sniper Wolf and blocking her, of which Sniper Wolf's argument was, it's Christmas time, I'm seeing my family and stuff, of which Sniper Wolf okayed to see, do a call with Kira over Christmas, despite this. Like, it was already agreed. After a drama alert was created with Kira's mother about the issue, Sniper Wolf took to Twitter over the criticism, saying that the story had been twisted and that the delays were due to time zone issues with Kira being asleep. Eventually, Kira did manage to get an Instagram call with Sniper Wolf, who then donated $5,000 to her fundraising page, of which I will link the fundraising page also in the description, and the drama alert video. Unfortunately, Kira lost the fight to cancer and passed away in January 2022. I hope her family is doing well. Point six. Sniper Wolf is a lazy creator who hates criticism. Jax Films is a popular satire YouTube channel that was created in 2006 and well known for the Your Grammar Sucks and Yesterday I Asked You or Yae videos. Despite having a lot less subscribers than Sniper Wolf with 4.87 million, Jax Films actually has its own Wikipedia article. Now, it's important to note that Jack had been talking about lazy creators in, for the past few years, even dunking on Jason Derulo's TikTok. Apologies to Jason Derulo TikTok. I have Jason Derulo YouTube Shorts, which features reaction videos and sometimes just straight free rooting um, TikToks. I would just like to show you that down here, in some of the videos, is his face. And down, I, I have to cut the audio because he's playing his song. This is actually really good advertising. But he is playing his song and that is his face. It is covered up by the caption and I'm totally sure it's just the exact same reaction. Like he's just, 
you know, cute little CGI his face. Not even CGI. Green screened his face on there with the exact same video. Yeah, this is what Jack's Films points out. As do a lot of other creators. But Jack Films really is the big go-getter for this stuff. In 2022 and 2023, Jack has also been criticising SS Sniper Wolf for her re more recent TikTok React content, claiming that it was not transformative content, something that is required for the video to be of fair use, and also criticising the lack of credit she gave to the creators of the TikToks, and also stealing their jokes. In October 2022, Jack started the channel J -J Jack's Films as a parody of Sniper Wolf's channel originally creating videos of him reacting to her videos the same way she reacts in her videos, then branching into Sniper Wolf Bingo, showing how predictable her reactions are. As these streams and videos have been increasing in popularity, there has also been an increase in TikTok creators calling out Sniper Wolf and copyright claiming her videos. Her responses on social media posts in call include involving her calling him a creep and accusing him of sexism and stealing her content. How ironic, am I right? On October 14th, 2023, an Instagram story, Sniper Wolf created a poll with the question, should I go visit Jack's films? He lives five minutes away from my shoot. Followed by a video of the outside of his house with the tag, let's talk like adults. Sent to her 5.6 million Instagram followers. Jack responded to this doxing as creepy, gross and violating and both him and his wife Erin made state statements calling to YouTube about Leah's actions. Sniper Wolf reacted to this by saying that she doesn't know how to dox, found his address on Google, and calling the Jigga Jacks Films channel and his videos on her obsessive behaviour and asking whether she should get a restraining order. She also commented after that why is Jack's film afraid of a 110 pound girl? Like he's going to go fight her or something. Why? Why? On the basis of we're we're going to put out that she has um two arrests, once for armed robbery and the other ones for a domestic dispute, and she's also violently threatened to sue someone. This is all on her wiki page. I say wiki page, not her Wikipedia page. Her fandom dot wiki page. All of these, all of this, the arrests. The threatening violence, you know, all of that on her wiki page for anyone to see. And she comes knocking at your house in the middle of the night, of course, yes, perfectly fine. Don't be afraid of the 110 pound girl with a lot of problems thinking that it's okay to come to your house in the middle of the night, you know. She also made light of the situation with this post saying, we show up to your house, what you do with her sister. A lot of the backlash is also due to doxing being against YouTube's terms of service, highlighted by themselves the very same night, just cleverly disguised as a, hey YouTube, is this okay? Like a YouTuber doxing another YouTuber, I wish I say no, with no mention of Sniper Wolf or Jack's films in sight. And of course, since Sniper Wolf is a very big favourite of YouTube's, it will be very interesting. Borderline revolution starting on how they respond to this. It is now almost a week since this happened, and they have not done anything. This is getting bad. Now, many that are in some form of support for Sniper Wolf would probably look at Jack's films and be like, yeah, he asked for it. He's done so many videos on Sniper Wolf. Like, if you looked at the Jigga Jack's films channel, you would think this guy is obsessed. But when you watch the videos, like, I've watched the video since the first bingo. Uh, I've stopped in a couple of streams. You really actually realise how big this is. Like, you notice how often Sniper says the same things or doesn't do anything. Something that your brain will probably switch off at and not notice if you were just watching her generally. It actually gets pointed out to you. So a few days after, I, th I think it was like a day after the actual doxing incident happened, this video appeared on Twitter by comment cop of um, Sniper Wolf reacting to the live stream because Jack was live when 
uh, she doxed him. D- Jack was live when she was outside of his house. And she reacted to this part of the stream. And you can tell because it says in the top corner when she changes that it says um, live Leah reaction. It is a reaction. And I just thought this would be a good video to show how bad her reaction content actually is when you actually try to pay attention to it. When you actually try to watch it and not have it on as background noise. I take it too far all the time. If you know what I mean. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, stop. Oh, no, hold, on. hold on. Go look at the general. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. yeah, yeah, pause. Yeah, hold on. I would just like to mention this isn't a photo. This is actually Snipe Wolf's face. This is her reaction. Keep keep an eye on the reaction. If you can keep an eye on Jack's reaction and then keep an eye on hers. Hold on. This is T. Is she like trying to dox you right? I don't know, but that's that really like sketchy. yeah, that's that's not that's good. really sketchy. That's like that's no. so like, sketchy. Nah, fuck that. How would she know where you live though? How the fuck does she know where we live? So already in the first just one first story, Jack looks concerned. You can see Jack look concerned. Ah. Sniper Wolf moved an actual inch in the twenty seconds that this video has been on. No? She looks like a photo. She looks like a stamp. I could post a letter with her face on it, like a stamp, like that. It's a stamp! That's not a reaction. That never was a reaction. That can't be a reaction. Don't say it's a reaction. That's no. so like, sketchy. Nah, fuck that. How would she know where you live, though? How the fuck does she know where we live? Leave me alone. What fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. She oh, she has moved. She's, she's in the um, house right now, Jack. Shut up. She's literally on your door. Like five minutes ago, posted. Wait, what? She's literally right outside your door. Oh my god! This is happening right fucking now. Call the fucking police. We have genuine concern and a bit of anger. We have nothing. Wait, what? Call like call the police. She's outside your house right now. What the fuck? Holy shit. She literally posted a video on her story five minutes ago. I'm reporting oh my god, she yeah. is. She's outside yeah. our house. See? More concern. Staring! This right now. She's fucking oh, doxing you. Yeah. Now, this is a lot of points that Jack's films mentioned in his videos. She doesn't pause the, the videos. She doesn't pause to talk to them like I am talking through you. She just talks over them. Or she waits until it is finished. And then talks. Like, there is no... There's no chopped up things. It's just the whole video in full. And the other thing is, is there's no, um... There's no credit. There's no TikTok credit on here. Yeah, no, this is fuck. Fucker. Oh my god, that's horrible. No, that, that is huge vi- No, okay, it's not- I'm gonna end this. Um, yeah. but- Yeah. Yeah, end the stream. Sorry gamers, um, thank you for coming out. That's a bit far. So, in a 1 minute and 30 second, a 1 minute 37 second video, Sniper Wolf has spoken and reacted on the basis that this is a react because it's a live Leah reaction. She has spoken for 5 seconds. Her reaction is 5 seconds and it's literally her repeating I take things a bit far. And well, she's admitted that she takes things a bit far. Are you going to apologize? Are you going to say that you were in the wrong? Because you are in the wrong. What the hell? I truly think that this is psychopath behavior. Okay, now this line, I'm somehow reacting to this. This line, psychopath behavior. Is Jack's films looking concerned that someone is outside of his house in the middle of the night? 
and not an unblinking, unmoving stamp of a reaction with no reaction to it other than, yeah, I take things a bit far. That's not a psychopath? That's a, the stamp is an actual human being and not a statue. Honestly, I thought I could like knock on its forehead and like hear a clang, clang, clang. Not like statues sound like clang, clang, clang. It's a metal statue. There you go. But yeah, that was just an example of how well Sniper Wolf actually reacts. The amount of people she doesn't credit, which is a normal react YouTuber thing. So many reaction channels credit their creators and do the thing. Why does she not? Why? Like, what is the, even the point in it? Like, you know you're going to be using it. And of course, a lot of um, arguments against react channels using TikToks is that they get exposure. Well, they can't get exposure if I don't know where I'm going to. If the video is, if the name is cropped out, if the yeah she crops out people's the like copyright thing on them she crops them out she steals people's jokes she like i don't know where to go into the dark depths of sniper wolf's editing team where and then you have of course they're not correct credited so you don't know whether your video is on there no one can come to your tiktok channel and be like hey i saw your video on sniper wolf because they don't know you exist and of course it's not just pointing out all of these things that are on judge jack's films videos it's people coming forward saying that they were kids they were teens when they did this really cringy video and sniper wolf put it on a video not even asking them they don't have permission she did not have permission for them to show a video that was a little funny joke between them and their friends of them be doing something silly when they were like 16. That's not... That They didn't have permission. Sniper Wolf doesn't have permission. They're embarrassed because they don't know how many of the millions of people that follow Sniper Wolf actually know who they are. That's the problem with Sniper Wolf's content and that's what Jax Films has been pointing out. And also Technically, it is just a critic. Critics go to the same person's movies all the time. I wouldn't expect Steven Spielberg to turn up at my house if I was a critic cri critiquing each one of his videos. Like, why? X Films was showing us the world and shaming Sniper Wolf in the process by showing us how easy it is to make what was so wrong with her channel right and then why would you think it was a good idea to go dox them like okay i know a good way of fixing this um hey uh i pretend i'm a sniper wolf hey jitter jacks films um can we talk a sec this is over text hey can we talk for a sec uh, i'm 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 sorry that um i've been doing all this stupid stuff about not crediting the creators um i'm gonna start crediting them now and not stealing their jokes and actually doing transformative content send or um texting jacks films like hey um i want to i'm in your area i can can, can we like meet up and talk at like a cafe about how i can improve my videos send there you go i've just done two ways of fixing this without going to Jack's house in the middle of the night without any permission and then sending it to all of my followers on Instagram and the actual terrifying thing about this is Sniper Wolf and her sister have not backed down even though Sniper Wolf said yeah I go a bit overboard yeah I can be a bit extreme they doubled down on the extreme, saying that he deserved it. People are agreeing with them, saying that he deserved it. And they've told them, they've, they've told these people who agree with them, saying he's deserved it, where he lives. They've shown his house. So you could just go on GeoGuessr and find it. 
on it so he, they told him that they found his address on google so now everyone that supports snipewolf to a very big extent is now going to find jack's film's address and so but with snipewolf and her sister uh waffy they have been basically making fun of the whole situation with the we come to your house what you were you going to do about it jokes or um they're making fun of jack because he wouldn't take on a 110 pound girl outside of his house at night time like it's not it's not rocket science to know that what you did was wrong and was against terms of service and illegal in the area you were in this is not okay this never was okay and now i'm afraid because if i criticize anyone if i criticize sniper wolf in this video as i am criticizing her right now is she gonna come to england and show me the outside of my house is anyone that I ever criticise in my whole life going to show up outside my house and it's going to be okay? Because they have subscribers and they give money to the YouTubes. Is that okay? Really? So yeah, Snipe Wolf needs to get off of YouTube. She needs to get off of... They need to get off of all the social medias. Snipe Wolf, her sister, they need to be off because if they stay on, they are going to incite a revolution of whatever their supporters are. And we need to stop their communication. Otherwise, this is going to get dangerous. And it's awful that YouTube hasn't done anything about it. And that is currently all that has happened up to the 18th of October 2023. Um, obviously, there's going to be some more. The lawsuit that's currently ongoing and the Jax Films feud is not going to end right now. We don't know what YouTube's doing about it. Probably nothing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This was my first attempt at this stuff. So if it seems a bit um, unpolished and stuff... I'm really sorry. Um, I was hoping this could be a lot shorter as well. <laughs> I had high hopes for this. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you have any um, feedback for me, I would love to see it in the comments below. Um, of course, I will link all of the stuff I have found um, in the description below. And yeah, if you enjoyed this, um, please feel free to give me a follow, like this video. Um, Honestly, I can't I can't stop thanking you so much for watching it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video, guys. Good night.